everyone. Today we're going to talk a little bit about maps. Now you already know that a map is a drawing of a place from up above, almost like you're looking down at something from an airplane. Maps can tell us where we are and they can also tell us how to get somewhere. In order for us to read maps, there's a couple of different tools or parts of a map that we need to know about. The first part that we're going to talk about is a compass rose. Can you say that with me? Compass rose. A compass rose is always somewhere on a map and it lets us know which way is north. So north is usually going to be towards the top of the map. Can you say north with me? North. So it's not usually going to have the word north, it's usually just going to have the letter N because north starts with the letter N. So north is always at the top of the compass rose and then the opposite of north is south. Can you say south with me? South. So south is always going to be represented by the letter S because south starts with the s sound. And then to this side of north, you're going to see east. And then opposite of east is west. So let's go over the, those are the four cardinal directions, okay? Let's go over those. North, south, east, and west. That is a compass rose. And you're always going to see one of these somewhere on your map. You're also usually going to see them on globes too, and you're going to learn more about those later. Another important thing that you're going to see on a map are symbols. And their symbols can be all sorts of different things, and they stand for something. And in order to know what the different symbols on a map mean, you're going to look at the map key. So I made up a little map key here. I see this little blue shape, and it looks a bit like a house. So if I made a map, Everywhere that I saw this little blue shape that looks like a house, I would know it stands for a house. Then there's this yellow rectangle here. That stands for a school. Then I have a green tree. Everywhere on my map that I see a green tree, that means there's a park. And sometimes the symbols are really, really simple, like just a plain circle or a star could mean a city. So when you look at a map, you're always going to want to look for the map key because that tells you what all the different symbols are going to stand for, okay? Now I want all of you to take a look at the map that I sent you. This is a fun little map that I found online and it's called the Vidsville map. That is the title of the map. Can you say title with me? Title. That's the name of the map, what it's a map of. Now this is just a made up town here. But it's a really great example of a map. Can you circle the compass rose for me? Remember everybody, a compass rose is going to look a little bit like this and tells us which way is north, south, east, and west. Did you find the compass rose and circle it? It's right down here. Do you see north, south, east, and west on the compass rose? Can you point on the map which way north would be? North is going to be up. Do you see how there's almost a little arrow pointing up for north? So that means going this way on the map would be going north. Going this way on the map would be going south. Going this way on the map would be going east. And going this way on the map would be going west. So that is why it's so important to have a compass rose on your map. Now let's find the map key. Do you see down here all the little symbols with their labels? That's our map key. So let's look at the different symbols. I see this pink square and that is a house. Can you point to a house on the map? There's quite a few of them. I'll point to this one here. Did you find a house on the map? Good job. Let's see, the next one is a yellow rectangle just like my map key had. That stands for a school. Can you find a school on the map? I see two schools. One, two. So either of those would be would work. This tree here stands for a park. Can you count and tell me how many parks are on the map? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. There are 29 parks 
on the map. Pretty cool, huh? Do you see the airplane? The airplane symbol stands for an airport. There's one airport on our map. Do you think you can find it? Go ahead and circle it. Here's our airport right up here towards the top. And let's see, this kind of blue round shape stands for a lake. There is one lake on our map. Do you think you can find the lake? Here it is right here underneath two houses and surrounded by some of the parks. This big white building, can you point to that for me in the map key? Do you notice what letter is on the white building in the map key? That's a capital letter H, isn't it? That means it is a hospital. Can you say that with me? Hospital. Can you find the hospital on the map? Ooh, I see that it's kind of close to the airport. Very good. And this last symbol is a road. Can you say that with me? Road. There's quite a bit of road throughout our map. Can you trace part of the road? So if I start here, I can trace and then I can go up or I could go down. If I go up, that means I'm going north on the map. If I go down, that means I'm going south on the map. Very good. So that is a map and you'll work a little bit more with maps later next week. But for now, I want you to remember the big important parts of a map. First of all, you've got the title of the map and that tells you where the map is showing you. This says Vidsville map, so this must be a map of Vidsville. Maybe you could make a map of Loves Park where St. Bridget's School is. And that would tell you exactly where that map is. Now, the next important part is our compass rose. Remember, the compass rose tells you which part of the map is facing north, south, east, and west. It tells you those four directions. And then all maps are going to have some symbols on them as well. And the symbols are all down in your map key. And the map key tells you what each of those symbols stands for. So go ahead and for your work today, I want you to pick one of these houses and decide which house you want to be yours. So pick a house, any house. And then I want you to draw a path from your house to one of the schools. So pick one house and one school and draw a path from your house to the school. Okay? Thank you everybody for watching my map video. I hope you have a great day. Bye.